Hi, Deja here for a, a short break, but also putting in some time. Um, you're getting ready for your indoor season. What's the plan for indoor working to outdoor? And obviously, uh, this is your last year at, at, at Franklin Pierce. So what's what's the plan for after that? Yeah, so this indoor, you know, I'm trying to run fast 800, fast mile, qualify for the national championships, and then outdoor same thing and then looking forward right now we're just going to take small steps and of like next year is a big one 2018 commonwealth games but i think i'm going to stay in my school area pick up my masters so that way i'll stay with my coach and then we'll just train build up for 2018. what times are you looking to achieve obviously times change or qualifications change throughout but uh you had you're coming off a, a solid uh uh, cross country season, uh, first couple of indoor meets, you've done well. Um, what has been the work put in that's given you this push um, to catapult you to indoor and outdoor national championships? Yeah, so the good, the good cross country season was real. It was real good for building the indoor and outdoor. So I put in a lot of extra miles. You know, I uh, got real strong aerobically. Uh, so that kind of helped me in the beginning of the meets because I was I was running off of no speed, just all strength. So really we're looking to run a real fast mile, probably end of January in Boston. So that's what that's credit to the strong cross country. Make me make me feel fitter so then that way I'll be ready for the mile. How much for you is it a challenge running indoor as opposed to outdoor? Well, I like I indoor is a little crowded, you know, because it's only two hundred meters, but for me I like the environment because everyone's all like jumbled up on top on top of each other, so you gotta get tactics spot on. And I, I like I like it better than outdoor just because of the environment, but outdoor is a lot better because you can run a little faster, you can leg out and you don't have to worry about being crammed in. So What are some of the things you've been working on with your coach? Obviously he's been with you for quite some time and I've seen the times increase um, so much more so than um, over the years where they can become stagnant. What are some of the things he's been telling you and pushing you to do in order to improve your times and improve your confidence in your ability to run faster? Well, yeah, this, well, being you know, I'm running for a while and like being in college for that long, racing every weekend, it was those little things we started to do differently. Like I was taking more ice baths, I was spending more time in the gym with like the strength and conditioning coach working on my on my uh, abdominals and my hip flexors and stuff like that. So we was really worrying about just the little things. How can we maximize what we've done without losing anything else? So that's credit to him and what he wanted to do. Looking back at the 2016 Olympic Games and looking at the events in which you could possibly compete in in 2020, what are some of the things you saw that, that technically you can do to make you uh, or someone that could be in contention in any of the races? Most of well, the other guys that won is just confidence, really, like trusting what you've been doing, building up to that. I mean, a lot of the times weren't really fast. I mean, look at the 1500, the winning time was 350. My best time was 352. So, but like, obviously, those guys are a few seconds faster than me as it is. So, you know, just making sure your tactics are spot on, knowing the competition, having faith in yourself, trust, trusting yourself. And to me, most just watching those games, there's a lot of tactics. Who has the best tactics? Who can who can finish the last hundred meters was winning everything. So. So what's your what's your hopes and ambitions for 2017 for yourself? Um, I really want to run a fast mile. Uh, no, I don't think any Bermudians have broken four in a mile. Last year I was 410, so I'm looking to run around 405 this year. Set myself up, and that's that's really really the goal right now is run a fast mile. All right, but well, we look forward to your indoor season and that challenge for the mile. Good luck and uh, all the best in school. Appreciate it.